That's right. We got Chef Bo Devonshell joining us this morning, whipping up a couple great recipes. We just saw the bacon and chocolate, hot chocolate, and now we're going to whip up a risotto dish. Yes, we're doing risotto. Um, it's a white chocolate and fennel risotto. Okay. Um, and then on top of it, we're going to have a pork belly that's glazed with a red wine, uh, mulled red wine. And then we're going to do a Brussels sprout salad, a hot Brussels sprout salad uh, with uh, lardon, which is bacon that's been cut up into matchstick sizes. Okay. And pine nuts. Wow. And we're talking about the sweet and the salty combination. And you made a good point that a lot of people, when they think of it, they're thinking bacon with chocolate. But it doesn't necessarily have to be meat itself when you're combining these flavors. No, not necessarily. I mean, the, the first dish I did it, I turned the bacon into a salt. So, um, I mean, you're not going to get a lot of pork flavor offhand. What you're going to get is a very salty, smoked flavor. Hmm. Okay. So this here, we've got the grill fired up, and this recipe will actually put on breakfasttelevision.ca later today. So this is one you can try at home. Absolutely. So you'll, you'll have the chance to give it a try at home. Woo! What was that? Uh, that is a beer. Whoa! Now we're adding beer into the mix, Jenna! So, I mean, it's, it's all of your favorite things here. You've got bacon, Seriously. you've got chocolate, and you've got beer in this, in this dish here, so. <laughs> all right, you can't really go wrong with that. Absolutely not. Okay, I don't want to get in your way here. So okay. tell us about what you did to prepare this meat here. Um, this meat has just been seared off and then it was stuck in the oven just to heat it up on the inside, give it a little bit of uh, a softer texture. Um, and now I'm just glazing it with some of the red wine glaze here. Red wine too! <laughs> this is fantastic! And then we're going to go with it. Let's get it on the plate. Okay. So your hot Brussels sprout salad. So let's start with some risotto here. We'll do a little plate up the risotto. So I like a risotto that's a little bit runnier. It's going to fall on the plate a little bit more. Awesome. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll take our pork belly and we'll place that right on top. If it doesn't want to move on me here. There we go. Looks nice. Lots of color, which is great. Then the greens. The greens here. Let's give it a little bit of a season. Okay. So this is Brussels sprouts. Brussels cut, sprouts. Cut up bacon. Cut up bacon. And pine nuts. And pine nuts. Nice. So we're getting a lot of color, a lot of layering of flavors on this plate here. And definitely putting together ingredients that you wouldn't normally go to. Absolutely. I mean, we're working with uh, some more obscure stuff, but I mean, it, it, what it'll do is it'll just give us different layers of flavor. Um, and then you'll come out with an absolutely fantastic dish here. Experimenting in the kitchen. That's half the fun, too, is trying out new flavors, putting stuff together that you wouldn't normally do. Oh, yeah. When I was given this challenge, I, I spent uh, a few days at home developing recipes. I'm like, ooh, I get to play with chocolate and <laughs> bacon? How I often know. does somebody ask you to do that for them? Yeah, not often. And then this year too, we want to highlight, this is the third dish that you actually whipped up here for us. Yes, that one there um, is a red wine poached fig. Uh, and then I did a dark chocolate mascarpone cheese, a chocolate and red wine emulsion. We have puffed rice, chocolate praline, and sweet basil. Wow, lots of different things together. And again, the recipe for the risotto will be on breakfasttelevision.ca. Thank you so much, Chef. Some great advice here. And uh, try it out. Be experimental. Bacon and chocolate, it can go together. And you can even drink it with the hot chocolate. Well, as part of the TD We Hear You campaign, we want you to vote. We have one more week. We want you to choose Drew's Adventure for next week. So your options are wet and wild, sky high fun, or extreme sports. We have the links up on breakfasttelevision.ca for you to vote. Thank you. Thank you. More BT Game Day coming up. Stay with us.